Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video we have seen how to seek the song. Now in this video we are going to see how to implement the repeat functionality of the button. So let's code it. So here we will create the function repeat song uh, before the next song function. So here we will create def repeat song. Now we also need to create a variable repeat song condition just like we have created for pause and unpause. So let's create that here self dot repeat condition at start it will be false now in the repeat function we will first check if it is true or false so if not self dot repeat condition means if it is false and we still have clicked the button it means we want to repeat the song so at this instant we need to change the variable to true self dot repeat condition to true and we also need to change the icon of the repeat button that is self dot repeat button dot config and after this here we will provide the image to self dot repeat one icon so if part is over and in the else part means when the repeat mode is on but still we have clicked the repeat button it means we want to turn it off so we will change the parameter here change the variable self dot repeat condition to false and we will also change the icon self dot repeat button dot config and here we will provide the image to be self dot repeat icon so how is it going to work see whenever we are playing the song then we are calling this scale update function which is first checking if the progress scale value is less than the music length if it is true then it is incrementing the progress scale value by one so with this the progress scale keeps on moving and when the progress scale value matches the music length it actually falls in the else part and it resets everything and the music just stops now what i want is instead of directly jumping from the if part to the else part i need it to check if the repeat mode is on or not so here in the elif part we will create elif self dot repeat condition means if it is true then we want to play the song again so when the music ends and this condition fails then the flow goes to this elif part and if the repeat condition is true then we call the self dot play song function and since after ending of the song we are directly jumping to the elif part and we are not changing the current active song so on calling this play song function the same current song is being played once again and this is how repeat condition is working so now we need to add this repeat song function to the repeat button command so let's go to repeat button so self dot repeat button yes it's here and here in the command section we need to give self dot repeat song yes now it should work fine let's run the code so let's add the song first now play it So there is a problem here when the song ends then this play button doesn't change i think i have not implemented that so we will do this in a minute let's run this again okay so now even though i played it again now there is another problem it's not uh, playing the song just the progress scale is moving let's see what's the problem here so when the song ends in the scale update function here now here we need to change the icon of the play button self dot play button dot config and here we will provide the image to the self dot play icon now see what's happening is when the song ends then it falls in this else part and here we are resetting every parameter here progress scale time elapsed playable changing the play button icon but we are not resetting our song to playlist that is this one self dot song to play because unless it's not empty the song is not going to play it will just pause and unpause so to fix that we need to reset this as well so now i think it should work fine let's run the code so you add the song and open and just play it so as the song ends our play button changes now let's see if we click on it again it plays or not So yes it's working fine now let's check our repeat button So our repeat function is completed now let's see how to implement the function for this auto play button so this icon is wrong it should be another one let me fix it quick so in the auto play button it should be not auto play icon it should be self dot auto play not icon that is initially it should not be active so let's create another function for auto play 
just below repeat one def auto play song now here we will repeat the same thing that we have implemented in this repeat song function just we need to change the variable name that's it instead of self dot repeat condition we will create another variable self dot auto play and here too we need to change it auto play and instead of repeat button it should be auto play button auto play button now we need to change the icon as well so instead of self dot repeat one icon it should be self dot auto play icon auto play icon and when it gets switched off we need to reset it to the auto play not icon now let's create this variable self dot auto play so here self dot auto play equals to false and in the scale update function uh, that is here just like we have checked for the repeat condition we will also see for self dot uh, auto play condition so elif not self dot auto play if we have activated the button then what we want is to play the next song that is self dot next song so our auto play function is also completed let's see it works or not okay so we have missed one thing we need to add the auto play function to the command of the auto play button so let's add that in the self dot auto play button in the command here we will give the self dot auto play song and that's it now let's run the code so let's add the song open now play okay even though i have switched on the auto play button it's still not playing the next song so there is some problem let's see what it is so in the scale update function uh, where is it yes here okay so this not should not be here and that was the problem so let's run the code again add the song and then So as you can see as we have switched on this auto play button the next song is playing automatically and now let's switch it off let's see if it still plays or not Okay so our repeat function and the auto play function are working really well we understood the concept behind it so now in the next video we will see how to implement this shuffle button that will change the order of the song that is in the playlist so that's it for this video we'll meet in the next one bye bye